And you can go home and not worry about, did I forget something? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What does a typical day look like for you? What time do you begin? What time do you wake up? What time do you go to sleep? I get up at 4.30, I work for about an hour, and then I go to the gym for about an hour. Then I come home, eat breakfast, go to the office by eight. I have a little meeting with myself and like organize my business and make sure I have all my priorities in order. Then I have a little meeting with my assistant and make sure we're all on the same page with what has to happen that day. Then I just start crushing whatever I made that well, made on that list. And then that's it. What I like to do is, is my calls in the morning. Um, I like to just focus on calls in the morning, getting those calls in, keeping the business going, keeping the momentum going, following up, making new calls, stuff like that. And then the afternoon is just whatever appointments or you know working on my coaching business or whatever I'm doing then, just kind of finish out the day strong. So about three or four o'clock, it's really good to sit down and look at your look at your notebook or wherever you keep your notes on what you got going on. It's good about three or four o'clock to look at that and make sure you're not missing one or two things that are really important that have to get done by the end of the day. And that way at five o'clock, you know you got everything done. You're never gonna get to the end of your list. So of course, a lot of that list is gonna get moved and transferred over to the next day, but at least you got that email out you said you were gonna get out by the end of the day or made that phone call that you were supposed to get back with somebody by the end of the day. And you can go home and not worry about, did I forget something? Cause that's most people's problem is they go home not and they're like, man, I, I missed something or there was something I missed. And so now you're worried about it. You don't know, can't put your finger on it and you worry about it all night. And then you even go to sleep worried about it. And then the next day you feel burnt out and kind of, you know, you feeling down on, you know, cause you're mentally drained. Cause you were thinking so hard all, day, all night when you should have been recharging, you know what I'm saying? So if you take that three o'clock meeting with yourself, figure out those top, few things that need to get done before the end of the day that helps you relax in the evenings to where you can recharge your mind and be ready for a, a real fresh strong start every day gotcha I like that um, so pretty much I, I just say there's some new agents here too so your I guess secret sauce or secret success here is really at least minimum three hours of calling a day um, for three days yeah have the newsletter going mm-hmm Working to the to, to max capacity, actually, that's really it. And you're not a big fan of Zillow, nothing like that. So just, I guess, in your own words, you have to describe, hey, this is my first year in real estate to some of these guys. What are they doing? I would say, um, you know, don't get sucked into paid coaching, right? Don't pay for coaching. Don't buy leads. So that right there, boom, I saved you like two or three grand a month, yeah. right? <laughs> Because like most agents are getting in the business and they're getting sucked into these situations and they're and they're putting it on a credit card. They're going into debt trying to build this business and you absolutely do not have to. Like I said, if you spend $200 a month on, on GeoLeads, Dialer, and Expireds and, and get that weekly email going, just, just concentrate on that, right? So first thing I would do is go to my sphere and call all my sphere. It takes me one day to call my sphere. One day, first day, not two days, okay? One day, boom, I'm done. I'm gonna call them. There's a video on uh, YouTube, just search Ricky Carew's Sphere of Influence, and there's a script where it's not salesy, I'm just calling a check on you, see how you're doing, I got in real estate, do you have an agent that you would do something with? You know, what's your email? And go ahead and start your email database with that group. Get as many of those emails as you can, get that weekly email going, boom, there's your start. Right, day two, we're gonna call for sale by owners. For sale by owners is the best way to get the most experience as a new agent, because you're talking to a live prospect really quickly and easily. You may set an appointment, go look at a property and talk to somebody, you know, you feel like a real estate agent, because you're talking, you may not get a deal, but you're getting this experience talking to people. You know what I mean? You're, 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 getting, you're getting your little experience in. It's the quickest way to get experience. It's not something I want you to do necessarily for, uh, long term, because I want you to move into circle prospecting and expires consistently, week after week after week, you know? And you're gonna start getting these people that wanna do stuff soon, we're gonna start following up, we're gonna start putting deals together, showing property, going on listing appointments, and you just start, you just keep building and just stay busy. You know, stay busy.